podcast host, champion Supercross Motocross, Ryan Villapoto. What's up, RV? What's going on, guys? How's it going, buddy? How's how's things? It's been a long time on this from being on the show. What the hell? <laughs> While we were trying, I never get invited anymore. People, so fans, and listeners, I don't get invited on the show anymore because now we're competitors. Well, I was trying to get you in studio for a long time, and that wasn't happening. So I just gave up. I just said, "Fuck it, call in." You know. <laughs> um, we can't talk about what you're doing right now, right? Um, I mean, yes, I'm. I am actually at Washougal. I am doing the 2025 uh, Yamaha oh, photo okay. shoot. Right. But other than that, I can't tell you what uh, what yeah. we're shooting, what the bike looks like, what's changed. Okay, but, um, yeah. I didn't know if yeah, you could even every, say that. Every manufacturer is doing their photo shoots around these times. Yeah, that's not a big secret. But you yeah. are busy. You're a busy guy. I just got back from Colorado for four, five, four or five days. Um, home for two and a half days, and now I've been, I'm going to be up here for five days, and I go back home for i think four days and then i'm back up here for a blue crew race here at washougal damn and geez, uh dude. then mammoth right after that he's traveling more now than he, he was is. In uh can we talk about this asshole at Glen helen at the blue crew race dude, Get- you owe me a fork lug too by the way you took a massive chunk out of my fork <laughs> you needed lug. a cherry's fork, <laughs> <lug. laughs> fork lug protector. you needed those you needed those protectors that. have you seen those yes <laughs> I mean, I have seen those, but I just feel like you owe me a fork lug and, and Listen, you're sponsored, so you should get me one. You're just behind. He's just fucking like, yeah, it's just harassing hey, me, man. cutting hey, across. Hey, 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 yeah, hey. yeah. <laughs> like, and oh I can't. God, what am I going to supposed? What am I supposed to do? I can't get away from him. Like, he could do anything he he wants to me. Like, I saw the GoPro. He did pretty much just mount yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. There was nothing yeah. I could do. Yeah. Nothing I could do. Yeah. I was. I was. I. I wasn't really trying to take. Uh, Sorry, guys. I'm putting a sweatshirt on. It's getting cold. Mosquitoes are coming out up here, you know? I'm working. I'm working. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't trying to really take you out. Right. But that would have been kind of funny, too. Um, but I did put some nice tire marks down the side of your bike, your oh. swing arm, your number yeah. plate. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a good time, wasn't it, Steve? Oh, it was a great time. I'm trying to <laughs> race. Like, I'm racing, and this guy's just holding me up. And, yeah, it was... Yeah, what class did I jump into? Well, that was the that was forty. 40. Plus? That was forty plus yeah. you jumped into. Yeah, yeah. yeah forty plus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a glimpse awesome. of what you got to look forward to, dude. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, I'm still never racing brownies, so I'm still never doing that. That's, that's, I'm, that's out. Uh, speaking of racing, though, you are back at the vet, vet Fox Hill race. You are. You stood. You sat out last year. You were just a man of the people, signing and drinking beer. And uh, this year, you are racing again. Not the main class, but you're jumping back on the vintage bike. Um, yes, I will be riding. I think it's a '93 YZ250, um, and I'm. But I'm not racing the the trophy donations class. Um, yeah. I told Wobs. I said it's just a, it's just too serious for me. <laughs> um, I would like to just go over yes and race. I have fun still racing and riding. Like um, the two stroke, uh, what was it, the two stroke world championship deal that we did that Fast House put on at yep. uh, Glen Helen was. I haven't gone off of a gate and into a first turn that fast since I retired, so it, it, it definitely made my my ass pucker a, bit, a little bit going into Talladega, fifth gear wide open on a YC250. Um, <laughs> but, hey, I got to lead two laps, and I ended up third, so that was I was stoked on that in second moto. Yeah. But, uh, but yes, yeah. I am going to go over and race. I don't know exactly what class it is, uh, but I'll be over there behind the gate and yeah. having some fun. Yeah. Those, those, just do that. Honestly, if any, I mean, Steve, you finally went, right? Yeah, you went last year, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was great. It was a blast. It's a great race. Kiefer, great race? Fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but you, yeah, I mean, your bike broke. I don't know. Broke? <laughs> I mean, yeah! <laughs> Hey, you should have stopped. You just hit the back brake or pull the clutch in. Yeah, dude, he freaked out. Brother, I did he hit the back brake. I look like a fucking swordfish coming out of the ocean off of this jump. <laughs> <laughs> swordfish. Um, well, listen, we got Medaglia, Gold, and Noof for Team Canada, so we're coming. We're coming for the USA. Okay. Yeah. What, 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 what does Team Canada expect to finish? Because I can tell you they're going to get waxed. <laughs> T- Tyler Medaglia? You're not familiar with this guy? No, 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 no. I didn't say I, team, team, team race. So Newf and Galdi are your, the ones you're worried about? Galdi may not even show what? up. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm worried about those two. Yeah, <laughs> their blood alcohol level might be over .08 you, you when they're. You saw Goldie at the pit, mean, at the pit yeah. bike. Arv, uh, Arv, Steve, gonna... you seen Steve? You saw those guys, dude. They're yeah, fast. Yeah, they are. They're really fast. No. Arv, <laughs> like, all they he has are. to do is invite Goldie over to the camper the night before, yeah. and he won't even show. Dude, yeah. Barbershev was 
Oh, oh dude. Gnarly, dude. No, all those guys. Searle, yeah. Bobber. Oh, dude, he was yeah. riding a CR500 there, too. Yeah. Fast. Yeah, yeah it was uh, It was something else for sure. Um, listen, uh, it was. it's fun to have you around, back around the sport. You're super busy, as we know. And then now you decided to do this fucking podcast. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, we're competitors, bro. We yeah, are we are. We I'm are coming for your all of your listeners. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, why I did this. That's why I came on the show. Is just to, just to poach some of your listeners. Title two four. Let, check it out, everybody. As soon as you go there, come back to pulp and realize what you missed. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, hey, we, hey, hey, guys, we, uh, for the for the listeners, we give you everything you need to hear in an hour and fifteen. Now, do we have all of this banter back and forth? Not as much. Um, it's also PG rated, which is. Which is okay. Uh, it's, <laughs> tough, you know, tough for you. Tough not for preferred, you. but we I do mean, it. It is for me. I am. A, I can be a corporate guy. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, Ricky tells me that he just loves it because he just sets you up, and and you're the one coming in with the takes, RV. <laughs> you're coming in with the hot uh, takes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's. I mean, that's that. Honestly, is the is the cool thing and and really fun thing about it is. Is um, I mean, uh, RC's been on actually. Uh, he went to Isle of Man. I think it was, was it last week. I hosted mm-hmm. the show out of uh, Taylor Park um, for the the T seven ride that we did. So luckily we had Starlink. So I hosted the show there. Um, that show was a was okay. We had a little glitch in the in the service that we had. So I had, I was, I'm literally listening on the back end on, on that one and, and trying to uh, make sure I hold everything together. Cause I haven't hosted a, a ton of them, right? Like I'm yeah. only, and then I hosted another one today, which was, uh, which, which was much better just because the service was a little bit better on our end. Um, cause I wasn't at 9,400 feet at, at the base camp in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, I was at my hotel room, but, uh, no, we had a, we had a bitch in time out of, uh, in Taylor park, um for the t7 and it what it was uh we just had a bunch of media out we mm-hmm. we we rode uh we had the, myself damon bradshaw mike Ulrich, um and and uh t fant also travis travis fant um and we had one media guy we were all sitting up at the at an entrance of a 50 inch trail and we decided to have a bright idea to say hey we're going to deviate off of what um all you guys are going to go do cause okay. we're going to do our own thing it took us over four hours to go three miles. Jeez. Yeah, With this bunch of lumber and trees it, and it, stuff? Dude, they had a Snow. saw. They had yeah. a saw out at one point. Ha- a little handsaw. Like oh. not, yeah, not even a big handsaw. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we we had to we had to we we yeah we uh, we cleared trail we we uh, we we had to, we had we dealt with I think four four trees down with a little ten inch saw, um, handsaw by the way, and we were about I don't know ten thousand feet. Um, so believe me, I was winded as hell. Uh, and then we de- dealt with about five or six, um, snow drifts that we had to tamp in and, and clear trail and, and, uh, and, and on the T7 too. And, and let me tell you, the trail that we so, rode should have been, uh, the YZFX, it sh- it, you know, that's yeah, the trail that not the trail the was made for those bikes, right. but, uh, but dude, we, we crushed it and we had a media guy with us that didn't have a ton of experience, but he had a, a ton of white water rafting kayaking um experience so he knew how to read water um which i think is obviously harder than reading a trail huh. that's you know so he, he he did a phenomenal job and we made it finally so it R- took us uh rv sent me hours. a video rv sent me a video four oh. hours to go three miles okay yep. rv sent me a video in the trail and like they're at altitude right and they're riding these tanneroos that are not like he said yeah it's, supposed to re- it's not a tanneroo it's not a tanneroo what is Tanneray. it Tanneray. Tanneray. sorry Tanneray. And fucking dude, tanneroo. it's a kangaroo, it's a kangaroo. And a fucking bike. <laughs> no, listen, RV sent me this video. He's dying. Yeah, he is so uh, tired. Yeah, uh, like he, like he's. You think he just did Southwick for two hours, um, or maybe more? RV, you are exhausted, dude. Cutting, yeah, cutting a little sapling. I, I was. Yeah, I, I tell, I told the story to somebody, and I said, I actually, my uncle that used to drive my bus, Uncle Dave. I said, dude, I said, you remember how my stomach was after a super hot national that I really, really had to put in some effort? I said, that happened out there in the trail. And the mosquitoes were so bad when we were up in the trail. I was like, dude, I had to find a tree. It took me about 10 minutes. I was dying, and I was I was literally dying from stomach problems, but also mosquitoes. So I was trying to beat off all the mosquitoes. It was, look, so I would right. do it again because of the story and because of the the you know it was just yeah. a lot of fun. We all had to help each other. Um, it was a, it was a Yamaha adventure. It was a team Two building days. experience. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. I, I'm deeper. I'm surprised Allridge made it. Allridge seems like he would keel over and not make it and just leave him on the trail. 
But good, good no, job. No, Mike did great, dude. Mike, okay. did, all of us did. I mean, um, all of us, all of us did 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 fine. I mean, we had to help each other, yeah. you know. But uh, we didn't lose any bikes. So there was one section. If we lost the T seven, it was for sure one hundred percent helicopter to come get the T seven. <laughs> wow. Um, and then that never happened. So it was. Um, I, I don't know what else we could ask for. Other it, than it, a great story. It, uh, we had Doug Dubach in here, Jennifer Ulrich, uh, after the Mesquite uh, Yamaha thing, or mini mini the a world mini mi- world mini. Yeah. And we we're talking about RV and Damon, and I got to witness it at Glen Helen a couple weeks ago. Like, what a bunch of perfect ambassadors for Yamaha. <laughs> uh, RV and I are talking. Damon comes up on 125. Da- RV's like, "What the fuck's the problem?" And R- Damon's like, "It ain't running right. The fucking Jen's off." And RV's like, hey, "You don't know what you're fucking doing. Just get out there and ride, you fucking pussy." And Damon's like, "Hey, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm coming over there. I'm gonna fucking beat your ass." RV- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. I'm like. These guys. <laughs> this is great. This is perfect. Yamaha guys. Oh, they, my God. They, they yeah. love each other. They're yelling at each other, calling yeah. each other every name in the book. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah. It's honestly, <laughs> honestly it, it, I, it couldn't have been a better switch, and I'm not even I'm not saying that because I've been with them now for, I think, almost, almost like it's going on six years, I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, it couldn't be a better, like, partnership between two brands, you know, myself and, and Yamaha, and then we have Damon, too, and... <laughs> And, uh, great, you know, like, you know, Loretta's me and Damon shared a, a motor home together for four days. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Taylor Park, me and Mike shared a cabin for four days. Um, no, it's, it yeah. is, it's, it's a, these guys are a lot, they're a lot of fun and I'm just glad to be, you know, was w- glad that I got introduced and, and we, and we have the trajectory that we have because, um, you know, I don't really know where I would be sitting at this point with, you know, what I'd be doing with my life other than, mm-hmm. other than, uh, you know, raising my kids. Like I have a blast doing what I do now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you got some amateur kids coming up, dude. I know. I, it's, 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 uh, I mean, dude, it's becoming really hard to ride in California. I'll be honest. That's with, straight with up. 50 kids. Yep. Yep. 50 kids, yep. you know, um, it's, it's, it's scary. It's, it's tough. You know, you really got to you really got to uh, keep an eye out what the, on what's going on and, and there's just, you just can't send them out there. So that's the only bummer part, but um, I have one, actually both of them want to race, but I have one that really thinks he's awesome. Um, he's not awesome yet, but <laughs> we'll, we'll hopefully get there one day. Um, but now yeah, we're just going to keep kind of plucking away at it and, and, and I'll keep doing what I'm doing and, and then take them racing. OGO power sports bringing you Ryan Villapoto on the Pulp MX show. Uh, please check it out. Um, and uh, title two four. So, I got to spend a, almost a week with RV yeah, and Damon at the intro? off-road What's intro. Up side? What's up, RV? <laughs> and it was very similar. Yeah. Like, the highlight of my entire riding uh-huh. career was the, uh, the they took us on a trail ride off through the property. <laughs> yep. And RV is first. Damon Bradshaw second. I'm right behind Damon. There's two trees down. RV hops the first one and eats shit on the second one. <laughs> Damon's so close, he runs in the back of him, and I'm already wheeling over the first one, so I crash into Damon. <laughs> and RV's laughing, and I get up, and I'm like, holy shit, I just crashed into Damon Bradshaw. We crashed, we crashed into <laughs> RV. This is the best day of my life. Yeah, yeah. It was well, actually, Dark Side, you're lying. The story was, the story, The real story is that the highlight of it was when he passed me. Dark Side passed me. <laughs> oh, that did, yeah. Yeah? Down a hill, yeah. left-hander at the end, right. and I, I yeah. Yeah. I, can you? I took him on the inside and tried to roost him. Uh, Gold great. Creek Lodge. And I think I was the only one that fell in that damn creek. Oh too. yeah, you I, were I, I fell in, that in the water. That was great. Yeah. Uh, Gold Creek Lodge. We got the Cardo systems, and yeah. all I got is this fucker in my oh, ear, dude, making fun chirping. of me, chirping me. Let's go. Yeah. You can make no, it. Okay. You okay back no, there? Yeah, I did. Yes, I did do that. But Steve was going down the hill, right? He's going down. He goes, "Oh my god, oh my god, my legs are burning so much. <laughs> They're burning." <laughs> they are. And I and so I come over the Cardo system and. I'm like, Steve, you're doing a half squat all the way down this hill. I said, drop your heels all the way down, like uh, compress your ankles and drop your heels and then straighten your knees out. So then you just bend at your, at, at your, at, you know, at your hips. And then you don't have to be in this like quarter squat for fucking like, I don't know. We were, we, we rode for a while Yeah. and, yeah. uh, and, uh, he goes, Oh wow. That really helps. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, man. It was, it was great. Uh, we do have some phone calls for you, RV. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't. I mean, how many times can you talk about the 2000 motocross the nations? But you're going to talk about it one more. Uh, Blaze, what's going on? What's your question uh, Blaze. for RV? Blaze. Is that his real name? I don't know. It says Blaze. Yes, real name, real name, real name. Yeah. So um, you want to talk about the one, hey. Ferry, Ferry, Carry Team yeah. USA? 
Cause we so, can, yeah, yeah, Barry won the qualifying race, and that was freaking badass, right? But, like, what was even cooler was that RV. Okay, look, I'm from your neck of the woods, so bear with me here. I was watching that race right as I called in, and I, by, and I remember Pulp was on, so I was like, oh, oh, my gosh, RV's on Pulp. That's right. Like, so I got to know, man. I got to know. Like, dude, like, what the heck? Were you just like, were you, was it just as simple as like you were just feeling good? Or was it like. Ah, he had the inside gate. He had the inside gate. It was just. Gate, ah, yeah, there he so goes. Soft, I, gave, I got man. the inside gate. That's all it took. That's all oh, it took. Crap. Give Timmy that inside gate, and Timmy takes off with the win. Oh, no, we're talking, we're come talking on. The first race combined where he won by 20 seconds. We're talking that race. Yeah. Okay. We're like RV. Were you just feeling good, man? Is that all it is? Or were you like, did you get that start? And you were like, Oh no, like I got this. Like what, like what, what, what the hell? I mean, yeah, I was, I was feeling good. I was on a good bike. We had a great team myself, Ricky and Timmy. Um, yes, I did get the inside gate, which was a huge help, especially at Bud's Creek that year. Um, because they, the first turn was super tight and I think it's very similar now. Um, but honestly, I, I've, I've told the story before that, um, it's almost like the movie matrix where I could see things happening as they were happening, you know, and dodging bullets and things like that. Like it was other than just like explaining like being a perfect day, that's really kind of what it was. Like, yes, I made, I, there, I didn't make a, a ton of mistakes. I'm sure I did, but I didn't make a ton that were, that were super big. Other than I do remember a, a lap rider fell in front of me and we were going, uh, we'd go off the gate and make a left and go that direction, yeah. uh, which I don't know what, I don't know what you yeah. call that direction, but we'd go up to then across the finish. And then when there was like that little hole that you drop into, and then there was that big, um, single, essentially, um, a kid, a guy had fell in front of me and I rode over his bike and got stuck. Um, luckily, and I, I, I picked my bike off of his motorcycle, but other than that mistake there, like everything just came super easy. Um, I don't know why. Oh. But other than being, like I said, a perfect day and nothing could really go wrong, that's that's the way it was, honestly. Oh. Like, oh, geez, Blaze, you okay? Uh, <laughs> Blaze sounds like oh. a <laughs> it's really yeah. the answer I wanted. RV, you hit the spot. In yeah. the moment watching it, it's like, dude, he had some gnarly head shake a few times. But other than that, it was like, I just, it's like, that was amazing, bro. Fucking amazing. God okay. Damn. All right. it, was, it was. It was probably. It was. It was. It was. It was. If if not the the best, it was probably. It's, oh, it's at man, the top yeah. of, of, it's the, of 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 my all time rides. Is it sure. the number one thing you get asked about RV? I gotta think it is. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think. I yeah, I would say yeah. just directly, right. directly of like a race or an event. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's probably the most one that I get. I thought it, I thought it would be the J Law incident. That's what RV, I thought it'd be. R V, did you ever did you ever ride Horn Rapids? I oh yeah. Spent a lot of time at Horn Rapids. Oh, Hell yeah, bro. That's 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 my joint right there. <laughs> I like <laughs> Blaze. Blaze is fucking yep. Blaze yeah, right now. That's a good spot. Up. All about it. Keeper. <laughs> there it is. That, thanks, Blaze. <laughs> Blaze is thanks, where buddy. you want me to be, Thank yeah. You. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's where all I need right. You to we be. got we got Rich on the line. What's up, Rich? What's up? Rich. Real name. Yeah, what's, what's up, up RV? Oh boy, we what's got, going on, Richie? Oh. Is <laughs> Richie with on? you? Is Richie with you? Are you guys together or no? No, no. we're not. Okay. I'm in, I'm up in Portland. Uh, I didn't know he was south. there in Portland though. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding down the. I should have uh, brought my media, media guy. Empire. I should have brought my media yeah, guy. Yeah, you should get all the media. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, RV, what? Uh, you've rode with all these media jerk wagons, uh, <laughs> Weege, Dark, Steve. Who else? Oh, I saw Don at Snow Summit Friday. I actually did a run with him. Who, who's the best moto rider out of these uh, media uh, jerk wagons? Well, Kiefer. Ooh. I mean, Kiefer. Moseman's pretty good. Well, he, nah, Kiefer doesn't count. Come oh. on. Okay, Moseman? Moseman. Nitsen's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but I, but I, mean, I don't consider I don't consider though. Yes, they're media, but I don't consider them being like like yeah. like. Uh, they all race, right? All those. I mean, Don didn't really race. Um, and yes, he's raced, but he, he's yeah, not like a, it, he wasn't an ex pro, right? Like if you're an ex pro, like you're, you're out, you're out of this group. Okay. Um, right. Honestly, I would say, I'm not going to say the word best, but I, what really surprised me was Steve. You really surprised me at Glen Helen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's your, what your I'm talking was, about. Your pace was pretty good. All right. Um, you know, like I don't think we could have 
maintained or even achieved that pace with our with our uh, you know our previous weight but we've we've definitely <laughs> yes, lost we've, a lot we've slimmed um, up uh, yep yep we've and and actually we we i thought like you made from the time that i saw you when you started training and, and riding your riding mountain bikes and all that like you, you you dropped a ton and then the the most recent which i think would have been glenn helen that i saw you in person you even had dropped a bit more so um it's definitely the, the athletic you're very athletic now <laughs> thank your, you thank you sir i appreciate that wow. athletic yes yes oh uh, yeah. okay well yeah no i i felt i rode well that day i felt good like all is like dude you're ripping and yeah. i'm like yeah cool man and he's like no, man, you're ripping. And yeah. I'm like, okay. You've been riding good. <laughs> I've yeah. been riding better. Yeah. I, I, no, he has. I mean, dude, yeah, you've been riding yeah. good. I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah. I mean, like, you still owe me a four plug, but that's <laughs> on you. Hey, RV, so Dark and uh, Steve are out there, I don't know, last week or whatever at Glen Helen. And I was like, all right, you guys are going to match up. You guys got to go out together. And literally, Steve just yarded Dark. And I thought Dark was a little bit closer to Steve, but not on this day. Uh no, I would have. I w- I'm sorry, Dark, but I would. I I wouldn't put you in that category yet. We need a little I agree. more seat time. I agree, Steve. We, Steve. we need a little more seat time. Yeah, Steve. Uh, I tell people all the time when they get we get in these Twitter wars or whatever, and like Dark's got him, and I'm like, no, Steve's got really good technique. He's got fast entry speed for his for our age, and I mean, you, people think but at, he's mesquite, at the mesquite that day, yeah, I feel like Dark was on your ass. But Steve hadn't been riding as much then. Doesn't matter. So okay. and I'd been riding more, and then yeah, I think I think people just say, well, because Steve was heavier, they think he's not going to be fast, and that's just not the case. Well. Yeah. So who would have thought uh, Steve would have been a Glen Helen specialist? That's kind of like me. <laughs> yeah. you can, I can lump yeah. you to be a Glen. Uh, yeah, you were a Glen like Helen guy. You took down the yeah. eight hundred there, uh, impressively. Oh, I took yeah. down everybody at Glen Helen. <laughs> I mean, other than me, oh Josh Grant will give me a run for my money. Um, yeah. Not current pro, not when I was racing currently. We just I mean, watched. Uh, lap, we we just did a re raceables on the 05 Glen Ellen RV. That was only your fourth race or whatever, and you went two two, I think, or three two. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were yep two two. Yeah, you were already good then too at Glen Ellen. That was your like third race ever. Hey so. RV on the on the yeah. old school rank of like tracks. Was Glen Helen up there for you? Just like the track layout, or is it shit? Did you like it? I was just telling somebody the story today that Glen Helen is probably that in Unadilla, but Glen Helen is probably at the top of my list. Yeah. It's not it's it's the top for a national track. Now, the way it's prepped during the weeks, you know, on Thursdays and, and things like that, like yeah, it's it, it is what it is, the practice track. But when they prep Glen Helen to be a national track, mm-hmm. I think it, it, number one, it needs to get back put on the list yep. for sure. Um and it was one of my favorite places to race. That was that's for sure. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 an iconic place. Number one, but and number two is it takes it takes you got to be tough and the track the way it develops. Um, but also, it's super wide. It's fast, but it also has the tight sections in the middle of the track. Um, Elevation. I, I loved racing Glen yeah. Helen. Yeah, I, I honestly really did. And partly because I was good there. Yeah. I mean, but I'm still good there now, and I don't and I don't ride. Uh, dark, dark. You don't. To be fair to Dark, it's Glen Helen's its own animal too. Yeah. yeah. It, there's nothing like Glen Helen. He's from right. West Texas, so yeah. east. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Rich. Thank you, man. East All right, Texas. we'll see you guys. Thank you. Appreciate Bye, it. Bye, Richie. Uh, Jacob's got a question <laughs> for RV. Go ahead, Jacob. Hey, uh, thanks for taking my call. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, Villa. Yeah, how are you, uh, Jacob? Man, I'm from Brown, Indianapolis. There was a track in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, northwest of Indianapolis. I'm pretty sure you was on an 85 out there that day. Remember anything like that? Oh, buddy, I don't I don't know. Indianapolis? Uh, Indi- Would you have gone that yeah, far? Yeah, I don't know. Like, honestly, because I was from up uh, west of Seattle, um, so it, uh, a town called, it was, the name of it was, or is, Paulsbo. Um, the farthest we would go would be Tennessee in the rig, um, and we would try to stop in Texas and ride for a couple weeks. And then, so I don't think I ever made it to Indy on an 85 or a big bike. Yeah. Um, if, it, if it came to going to Florida, I'd even fly there. I'd fly to Florida. Hmm. Um, I only went to Florida once I started riding for Team Green because they would end up bringing the bikes there. Because my dad's like, I, I'm not fucking driving to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The, uh, the, circuit, the circuit would drop off and, and wind them. Uh, TP uh, uh, Villamin would come in sometime. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. I was just yeah, curious. I don't think I ever, I also, I don't think I ever made it there. there. All right, go ahead. What's your other yeah, question? Go ahead, buddy. Um, about the about the 250 class, why can't we do something like um, 
for the regional titles, keep them one to three years, and, and you're eligible for the regional class. After that, you go into the full 250 class, which is just like the 450, 17 races. So you're saying add a class to it. More, more of an right. older class, but let the rookies come in and run for the regionals. I don't think they have enough time – because I asked them about a B yeah. main one time, and they're like, there's not enough time in the Supercross program to have another Okay, class. well, Steve, so, Steve, here's yeah. the easy – I mean, look, okay. we already deal with we, – we deal with, obviously, the tracks, right? And mm-hmm. we, we hear the dirt, dirt works or, uh, you know, they don't have enough time to, to prep the track with, with A, B, and C qualifiers or, you know, uh, time practices, mm-hmm. and then they have the last chances and all that. So, yes, time's, time is a big problem. Um, I personally, you know, I, I don't, I don't dis, I don't dislike the the East and the West, um, but I do think that, I, I, I think guys wouldn't try as hard or wouldn't think it would be so urgent to make something happen in seven or eight rounds if they're if they were like ten rounds, and 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 you, and you didn't have an East and a West and you just did like say ten or twelve rounds for for the lights guys. Then I think you'd have a little more time for these guys to to look at it from a from a schedule standpoint and from points, um, from a racing standpoint that they'd have a little more time to if they would made a mistake, um, to recover from those mistakes. But um, I mean that's the, that's that that question has been thrown out I don't know how many times like what do we do with with the 250 class and and how do we change it for the better? Um, it's been east and west for since I was at born you know and I'll be yeah. 36 this year so. Uh, I don't know. Thanks, Jacob. Thanks for the call. What, what, one, one last thing. One last thing, real quick. A uh, certain podcaster um, from a Fly Moto sixty show helped me out with some goggles. Okay. Uh, my mother passed about nine months ago. Those those really gonna help me and the old man to kill some time. You know, I appreciate that. All right, no problem, man. Thanks All again. All right, well, awesome. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. See, see that. See this podcast. This podcast gives back RV. It doesn't just take like the title two four ones. We give. I back. like well, yeah, you know, we don't. We get quad lock, Dunlop. I mean, United Motorsports. I mean, you tell you, okay. you name it. We Na- have, we give it away. Save your sponsors for your own show, sir. <laughs> so, um, hey, are I you? I just did Dunlop, Quad Lock, <laughs> United Motorsports, and Boxo. There hey, you go. Are you are you going to do any um, race day live or anything for SMX? Or are you going to be involved with SMX or any like? Is Feld guys reached out at all? Any plans? Um, they did early on in the season. Okay. Um, it just didn't work out. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, if 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 the phone rings and it makes sense, I'll do it. It just kind of all depends on my schedule as mm-hmm. of right now. But I'm pretty busy. Uh, so yep. we'll see. Yeah, you are. I busy. don't know. Yeah. Tenere. Yeah, Tenere. Mike. Mike. Hey, 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 Steve. Steve. Mike just said. Mike said I'm pretty busy. We're we're busy over yeah, here. Mike. Yeah. Oh, is no, all it's, all it's there with lots him? of things. Yeah. Lots of yeah, ins and outs. Is right here. He's listening. Lee my guy. Listening to. Um, yeah. Leave my guy alone. Yeah, he's, he's busy. Hey, RV's hey, handler oh, over there. Yeah, I got hey, uh, one. Mike, the... Dark needs a shirt. Get, yeah. get him a new shirt. Our, well, yeah, I got the same shirt RV wears because we're Blue Crew, baby. Oh, boy. That's yeah, right. That's yeah. horrible. Um, it's a great shirt. I need to race Florida at GNCC again. Liam wants you to race uh, Florida uh, Dark Side oh. GNCC. Is that Liam Dra- uh, we, have, we have Liam Draper yeah, listening, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. For the folks that are listening. Champion. Are you That's are you right. are you back in for? Well, Stu Baylor was trying to recruit uh, him earlier yeah, tonight. Stu, I, I'm in for Iron Man. I don't know about uh, Wild Boar. Wild Boar kind of. Well, know you know what? Wild you know Boar. what? All right, hey, yeah, Liam. Let's let's set it up. We'll we'll do it next year because I need to redeem myself for. Mm. I need to redeem myself for almost dying. Uh, last RV, year. you in. need to do a GCC RV. Right, Iron That's Man. Uh, yes, I would like to do one. Um, <laughs> I just need to fit it into my schedule. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Iron Man. We would give him shit, but honestly, his schedule is busy, so you can't yeah. really give him shit. Dude, he's super busy. Hopefully, hopefully not a mud race. Uh, good luck. Oh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Uh, yeah. Industry class for sure, and hopefully, I don't get beat by the girls. Yeah. Uh, Rachel. Listen. Yeah, um, yeah. A couple of those girls, Rachel they Archer and uh, Corey Steve. Yeah, they're they're probably gonna beat you. They're well, they're, they're in the industry class. No, maybe but not. Out, I think maybe not all out. Same speed, time, but they, they're going to have me in the longevity yeah. department for sure. Industry class goes in the morning. Same yeah. time as so. Yeah, same time as the the women. So uh, Eddie does stuff for RV too. Okay. So yeah. we have Eddie. Yeah. Eddie used to be RV's guy. Oh back yeah, in the... Eddie Larrett. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And and yeah, he's already. He, I'm just. He's just waiting for me to to fully employ him so he doesn't have to work for your dumbass. <laughs> yes, he didn't have to help Aiden or Chris. <laughs> this is what I get from Eddie. I get photos of uh, our videos of RV flipping me off. It was like I'm taking him to the top. What the fuck are you doing for him? Yeah. You ain't doing anything for him. 
Uh, I got the whole right. story. I got the whole story on the way oh, yeah. to where we were this weekend of how they met, how Andy yeah. worked for him. I got the whole. It was good. Good story. I, uh, I worked with Eddie at Moto Triple X. Oh, okay. He was a mechanic at Moto yeah. Triple X uh, when I was t- working for Nick. I feel like Eddie and RV are, are perfect for each other because yeah. they're both very boisterous and loud and <laughs> in your ass. Yeah. So okay. yeah, works. You think? Oh, geez. I'm not that loud. Uh, you, you get you get fired up. You're fired up. He can get you fired up. I feel like in your ass. Yeah, yeah, maybe. In your ass. <laughs> uh, but so anyway, the story was like, so this is RV. Okay. He tells Eddie at the two-stroke race, uh, hey, man, I don't give a shit what happens, but I'm leading at least a lap on this thing. He's like, after that, I don't give a shit, but I'm going to lead some laps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what so I So he did it. Yeah. And he did it. And, yeah. and, I pull, and I pulled a fucking hole shot, and I led two laps, and ended up third that moto. Yeah. So I was stoked. Yeah. Baby yeah. steps. Yeah, yeah baby awesome. steps. Like Mike says, we're, you know, we're we're not we're not doing this every weekend like we used to. So right. you know, it the, takes us a little bit to you know, w- you know, dust out the cobwebs. The thing that's awesome about RV is like you know he's got all these championships and all these wins and everything else, but like he really doesn't give a shit. No, <laughs> like like if you if he gets beat or dude, that's impressive. Yeah, like, yeah. Where do you find a champion that's like that? Right, you, you don't, don't. You don't. You don't. No. no. Most, no. Most, Al, ask Bradshaw. He won't even line up behind you. We're <laughs> 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 scared of them gates. Yeah. He's like, I ain't racing. Yeah. No, he doesn't want. To do anything to do with that? He just yeah. You're you're like ah. You're like ah. Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah, let's race. That's great. <laughs> uh, thanks, we'll RV. Race for a couple yeah. laps. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we got a fishing question for you. Do you want to take a fishing question? Yeah, why not? I don't know. No, fishing. I'm not biting fucking sinkers anymore. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 uh, that was funny. Uh, Eric, go ahead. What's your uh, what's your question for RV fishing? Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Eric. Um, Ryan, I know you like to fish. Have you ever heard of spear fishing? Yeah. Uh, yes, I have. Breath hold free diving and shoot fish underwater. Are you interested? We can go out of Southern California and shoot some big white sea bass and yellowtail. So I've heard about the sea bass and the kelp. Um, yep. I don't know how good the lungs are for going under, <laughs> but. Um, Jeez, yeah. I, yeah. Look, I'm I, a crappy diver, be, dude. You I think it would be big fish. badass to do it. Yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be super sick. Do you use a weight belt? A little bit of a weight belt, or no? Just go under. Yeah, you got to use a weight belt. So you, so yeah. we wear a wetsuit because the water's not too warm out here. It's you know yeah, summertime's know. like low seventies, and so we'll wear like a three mil, five mil wetsuit, a weight belt, and uh, I got all the gear, and I got a big boat. Okay. And I'd love to have you out, man. Uh, well, hit me up on on Instagram, dude, and I'll uh, I'll see if I can find some time. I'd love to go do it. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Are you are you in Southern California often? He lives there. In Newport Beach is yeah. where I live. Oh, he lives in the elites. Oh. He lives with the elite liberals. Bullshit. Hey, Trump was just in town, motherfucker. He was just in <laughs> yeah, town. Yeah, he, he lives with all the Way liberals go, in, 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 the, in the beach community. He's, in, he's just infiltrating. Don't even go there. You're going to get eaten no. alive. Yeah. You're going to get eaten alive. <laughs> so, so, don't go there. Uh, Steve. Eric, 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 DM, uh, DM you right, RV? Like, is that how you yeah, want to communicate? Yeah, DM me and it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. DM me yeah. and Steve, and Steve will send it over if I don't get it yeah, or whatever. I, if I don't RV's not going to answer. I'd, right. I'd love to go do it. All I'd right. love to go do it. There we cool, go. Man. I was, uh, I was just in Catalina yesterday and Saturday. We shot six yellowtail. So, really? Yeah, we'll get you on some fish. So hold yeah. up before so you hang far, up. So, so how far offshore? Well, I mean, it depends, right? So if I'm going for white sea bass, actually, like, we've got the Mecca in Southern California. I'm not going to – I'm sure there's some divers on the show, and, and I don't want to blow it up, but there's a local spot. Um, you know, I, I got a yeah, couple don't, of don't tell, already. Yeah, don't tell them. Don't, gi- don't give our spot up, bro. Don't our give spot. Them. No, no, our that's spot. Definitely not. You, you know how it goes, okay? Look, I clown people all day long for that crap, so we're not doing that. But we got good white sea bass on the coast. Uh, right now they're filling in the islands. The water's starting to warm up. We have some pretty good sightings of yellowtail. The bluefin are going to show up. Um, a couple years ago, I got a 214 pounder off of San Clemente. Geez. No way! Yeah, dude, Look, pull I'd love to get, that would be insane, dude, to get a to get a bluefin. Holy cow! Yeah, I got all. I got. Can we, two can we get the? I just got, want to hit the motocross drop. The reef. Yeah, dude, we'll get you dialed. I just want to hit the motocross drop. Yeah, hit me. Hit. Please hit me up. I'll go. Welcome to Pulp Fishing. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Welcome right, to right, Pulp Fishing. You. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Pulp Fishing. Thanks, Eric. Steve. Hey. Thank you. Steve, even though you're liberal, we'll get you out there too, dude. You can come drink some beer. Come on, Steve. All right. I've never. Extra, we might have to put an extra fucking weight on him, an extra <laughs> lead on him. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I got enough lead for Steve, dude. Okay, there's zero <laughs> chance I'm doing that. I no don't, shit. Well, yeah. That's what I want to know. How how far do you go down, and how how long do you hold your breath, or what what goes on? Well. Okay, so I mean, white sea bass when they spawn in the springtime, you can shoot them from the surface, dude. I've shot I've shot forty pound fish in like fifteen feet of water, right? Okay, uh, you know, and then yellowtail, we're diving in like eighty feet, but you're dropping to like twenty, thirty feet. Schools come through, so what, yellowtail are very curious. 
Damn, dude. So That's when you're deep. down there, you're like, you hold your breath, you drop down, you can uh, strum your bands and like a guitar, and they'll kind of come in, and then you just blast them. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great. Strum your- and they pull, dude, they pull. Bro. They pull. Big fan. And then like like the tuna, you know, tuna, you're diving out like off the off, you know, outer banks. Uh, depends on where they're at. You know, you're anywhere from 20 to 60 miles offshore, and you're in, you know, several thousand feet of water, but you're only diving. 20, 30 feet, and especially if they're boiling, dude, it's a great time. All right, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. I'm not saying <laughs> he's I'm like in. Anything, yeah. but I'll he, give it a whirl. He's in. Thanks, Eric. Don't give out your spot. Yeah, better right. answer Thanks, your guys. DM. Thank no. you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Eric. Check uh, out my boat, dude. <laughs> RVs. Now it goes I'm in. deep I'm in. Yeah, yeah. Look at look at everything the Pulp Show gives you. We just right. give back. That's what we do. Uh, thanks, buddy. I'll let you go. I know All you're right. busy. You got those guys up there. Uh, thank you for the call in. Right. Are you We're cooking? Are you cooking dinner track. tonight for everybody or what? Yeah. Actually, it's, hey, it's catered and our lunch was really mm. good today. We're nice. sitting right here, uh, right behind where the AMA truck sits for uh, for the Pro National. Yep. Uh, yep. We have the whole setup here. We have a we have a chef on on site. Yamaha does it right, and that's what we're doing. We're we're. I'm having a cold beverage, and nice. we're going to go over and eat. Good. Nice. RV, can Lee, can Liam hear, hear me? Yes, he can. Liam, can we get a win this weekend, man? Here we go. GNCC Dark. Here we uh, go. Uh, yeah. Sure. All right. I, I need. Uh, we got to get a win, man. Let's get this done. Yeah. Big fan. Dark side. Big <laughs> fan. All right. Dark side GNCC series. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. Yep. Thanks, buddy. See you. Later. That's, uh, buddy. that's Ryan Villapoto, everybody. OGO Power Sports. He's, <laughs> he's something else. Ah, he said I was the fastest media guy, so uh, you know I should actually thank the man. Yeah. I mean, I, at, the, I, at the Blue Crew thing, you did... You were ahead of Gyps for a while until he wadded. Yeah. Uh, you beat Don, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Now, you ride well, man. I mean, I, I always say that when you, even when you're not around. I tell people you ride a lot better than people think you ride. Like, uh, we, imagine you would ride. Right. Rocky Ridge Trucks, everybody. Uh, the 8 o'clock hour brought to you by Rocky Ridge Trucks. Rocky Ridge is a rich history and they've been building custom vehicles since 1983, proudly partnering with the finest OEMs, including Chevy, GMC, Ford, Jeep, Nissan, Ram, uh, each vehicle is easily financed through your local dealership and, best of all, retains the factory warranty. Say goodbye to the hassles of do-it-yourself customization. Uh, ch- drive the vehicle you've always dreamed of. RockyRidgeTrucks.com. Thank you to those guys. Uh, and, again, thank you to the folks at uh, Ethica as well. Pulpamex20 is the code to save at Ethica.com. So uh, great underwear. I love their hoodies, uh, shorts, all of it. Pulpamex20, kids, women's, men's stuff, quality products, premium brand experience. Pulpamex20 is the code to save.